Yeah, you know, number the ninety, what ninety nine to one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, there's so many of us and so few of them, but we we haven't understood what they were doing to us. Right. The biggest so, number so, nightmare is us figuring it out. Right. So in our organization of living men and women on the land, the strongest part of the organization is at the base, at the county level, and we're responsible to take care of ourselves and to create common law juries to create a militia in order to keep the peace. Now, this militia doesn't go out and fight the police. This right. militia is because the police are never there when you need them. Their average response time is 30 minutes. Well, they're being um, taken out. Listen to this. Their average response time is 30 minutes. Look, if you're being raped, how good well, is that for a policeman to show up in 30 minutes? Well, okay, but then we get back into the that's the blue the state real yeah. reality when they are trying to take the police and remove them out. No, you you missed it completely. It's not about the police, and I agree with you on the defunding. It's not really about them. Although it would be really nice if they weren't defunding the police, but I'm not going to debate that. Okay, because okay. I'm here to talk about assemblies. Okay. You know what the country, the civilized country in the world, that has the lowest crime rate. You know what that country is. Hungary. Japan. No. It's Sweden. Switzerland. Because every citizen in Switzerland, every Switzer, Swiss, has to be armed. It's a legal requirement. They're all armed. So they're all armed. So if somebody pulls something, they're surrounded by however many people are there, all of them are armed. Oh, so you have so to call the police. what happened in this country, it used to be a requirement that all men carried arms, which they purchased themselves. They were required to practice. They had to keep their arms well oiled and in good condition, and at any moment a member of the militia could inspect them to make sure they had a well oiled working weapon on them. It was a requirement. Okay. Because, look, let's say that you're a rapist. I mean, that's a good example. Right. And, and you, Separate. it's dark of night, and you're in the middle of a city, and now you feel like you want to rape somebody. Well, right now, the chances of a, a person being armed that could protect well, that woman are it's almost already, zero. It's happening before but what our if, eyes. But what if every, every right. person, every not person, all the people around that individual were armed? Well, yeah, no, true. That in concept makes total sense. But when they're taking the term militia and they're using it in a negative context now today, well, of course. Why do you think that is? Do you think they want us to assemble? No. Do you think they want us to have a militia? They do not want us to assemble, and that's right. why the masks and the shutting things down and the control and the whole Right. So the militia, actually, the job is to keep the peace. And mm -hmm. this includes learning how to ha can home foods, learning how to dry foods, learning how to store foods yeah. so that if there is a problem with food shortage, you can help your neighbors. Sure. It's about learning how to store water. It's about learning how to um, uh, protect each other. It's about learning how to do first aid and how to help your fellow man. That's what a militia is. And that includes bearing arms. Mm -hmm. sure. It's not Arms are not the only thing. That's only one branch. And not every person in the militia wants to carry arms, although now that I really have done the studies I do, I, I wish they would all do that. Mm -hmm. But um, in the assemblies in Los Angeles, for example, where they're much larger than we are here, they actually do have practices at the shooting range. Because what we don't want is a bunch of armed people walking around that don't know how to use their arms. Exactly. So, totally it, but it's not to fight with the police. It's actually to back them up. Yeah. No, so I agree. So back the sheriff up, you yeah. know. Well, no, to get there before the police do. <laughs> well, if you're there and something's happening, I'm going to tell you a story that Anna von Rietz told. Mm -hmm. This is an interesting, true story. There was a grandmother who was in her 80s, and she was out with her granddaughter who was eight months pregnant, so almost ready to give birth. And a robber came into the bank where they were, and he said, everybody, everybody get on the ground. Well, I mean, eight months pregnant, you know how hard that is? So the, the uh -huh. young lady is trying to get down on the ground by, like, I'm not sure how, but she, she's slow. So what he does is he, he push, shoves her down on the ground and then he kicks her in the belly. The 80-year-old grandmother pulls a gun out of her purse and shoots him. And then she says, that'll be enough of that. So the police didn't ever, never made the papers. The police didn't arrest her. Nothing happened to her. But I'll tell you what, her granddaughter could have lost that baby or even died 
if that had continued to its logical conclusion with a man like that. Mm -hmm. So that is why, that is why we want militia to exist, not That's to go not. out and have war with the government. Right. No, 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 we're peaceful. Right. We're approaching the government through their own codes and statutes and through our laws. They're really pushing. Hey man, they're really pushing for everyone to fight with each other. Yeah, what, they want that. And what do you, what do you think of the chances of that? I mean, well, it's happening. I don't think about that. What I think about is how do I form the assembly? Yeah, the solution. How fast can I solution. get people to sign up? Okay. So, want to explain to Amy what that is, or the process? Maybe yeah. show her. Okay. Well, sure, Amy. There are documents that reverse all the things you did as an adult.